Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Let's go ahead and turn this 10 inch black diamond file into a steel. Um, there's some safety concerns about using a grinder, especially one without a handle, without the guard, um, without a ground fault circuit interrupter. You make sure that you use all the safety equipment that you think you're gonna need when you use this. If you if you have no experience with a grinder, you probably got friends that are welders or steel workers or fab guys that would be happy to make the few little cuts that you'll need to do with the cutoff disc with this grinder. People are forever telling me about how these discs have exploded and pieces of it have gone right through their safety glasses and got their eye or, or embedded itself into their cheek and that oh you need like when I was working as a pipe fitter, they made us wear safety glasses, goggles, and a face shield, and then we had the hard hat on too. And I have heard other people say, you couldn't wear just regular gloves, you had to wear the long gloves, and you had to have a long sleeve shirt on, and you had to have a set of leathers on, like what welders use. If you wanna use all that protective equipment, you go right ahead. All right, I have a 3 16 drill bit, a countersink, center punch, hammer, some finger tongs, cut off disc, grinding disc, and my cordless drill. All right, let's make some marks now. There'd be no way to drill through this part of the file because it's so hard, but the tang area is soft enough to drill through. So I'm using a 3 16 drill bit because that's the size that will accommodate my paracord. So I'd like to have it about right there. So I'm gonna cut it off here, which will give me about, you know, the same, like if this is an eighth inch here, eighth inch on this side, and an eighth inch clearance on that side. Let's go ahead and put a center mark. And let's drill it right here. And we'll center punch that. Countersink it. And I want it to be as as long as my hand. And I'm going to take the corners off. Including these.
unplug it and change the grinding disc. All right, that's out of square just a little bit, so I'm gonna grind some off on this side first. very careful when you grind these filings off the sides. You do not want to take the temper out of this steel. If you take the temper out and it gets soft on you, you might get a spark or two off of it, but you're not going to get what you need to get, what you could have gotten if you took your time and just slowly, without heating this up too much, took those grindings off. cool off. I mean, how hot can it be if I can hold it in my hand? I did not heat that side up too much, but I'm going to let it cool off while I start taking up some off of this side. Ah. I chamfer all these corners all the way around on both sides. And I want to put a cobra weave for a lanyard on this. So I've got four feet of paracord. And I've got cobra weave tutorials. I'll put that link in the description. Stick it through here. Go to the center. Go to the center of the two. And we'll do about four inches to about right here. Now, I'm going to cut and burn these ends. If this wind will let me do it. out of a 10 inch file the 
middle is a 12 inch and this other one is a 14 inch file. I want to ignite that char cloth 10 times, then we'll go back outside and ignite a pine needles tinder bundle. cannot see my shirt at all, but I bet it looks great in this dark. What is that, about four? <laughs> Let's go outside and we'll end this with a fire. It helps when you can see the church. It's hard to see the ignition in this bright sun. All right, y'all, before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.